In this video, we show you two simple methods to stop the Google Calendar invite spam coming up. It seems that hackers, exploiters, whatever you want to call them, have found a way to exploit and spam Gmail calendars. Although calendar spam is nothing new and it's been around for quite some time, there just seems to be a new uptick in the amount of spam going out. That being said, we're gonna show you two different methods that you can use to prevent or stop the spam. If you are new here, just to tell you a little bit about this channel, we do a lot of stuff tech related from tech news, unboxings, over to tutorials and how to's. So please consider subscribing, you'll be glad you did. And with that being said, on to the video. The first and probably the most obvious thing to do is go into the calendar event and delete the series off the calendar. To do this on a desktop, either right or left click on the event, click on the trash can, and you will now have the opportunity to delete all events in the series. If you're accessing your calendar on a mobile device, navigate to the entry, press and hold, select delete, and then choose all events in series. Now, the obvious problem with this particular method is if you have a multiple accounts and you're getting a ton of spam, then going through and deleting these one by one is going to be tedious and time consuming. The second method that we're gonna be doing today is going into the general settings of Gmail and enabling or disabling specific settings. For this, you will want to follow along on a desktop if you can, as some of the options that we're gonna go over are not available on a mobile device. Step one, you guessed it, open up the Google Calendar. Once you have it open, we're gonna head up to the top right-hand corner area and click on the gear icon and select settings. This option will load a new page, and once we're in the settings, on the left-hand area, select where it says Event Settings. The page should scroll down a bit to the section that we're gonna be needing, and you're gonna want to locate something called Automatically Add Invitations and select it. A menu will open up, and you're gonna want to select No, Only Show Events That I Respond To. All changes are saved in real time, so you don't have to do any extra steps here. Now, head back on over to the left-hand side and select Events From Gmail. You're gonna wanna find a box and un check auto add events from Gmail to my calendar. The biggest issue with that specific settings, if somebody sends you a calendar invite and you don't respond to it, it's not going to automatically put it on your calendar and you'll want to use this specific settings at your user preference. Now, if you do respond to the email such as an RSVP, it will put that calendar invite on your calendar. Now, one of the settings that we would recommend turning off is the show declined events. What this does is you'll notice when you decline an event, it could potentially show up on your calendar with a crossed out line behind it and this goes in and turns that off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this on desktop and mobile. So starting with desktop, head back to the gear icon and then click on settings. On the left hand side of the screen like we were earlier, you're gonna want to click on view options. Down in there, you're gonna see a little toggle switch that says show decline invites and uncheck that. As I was saying earlier, you will want to do this on mobile as the two settings on desktop and mobile are completely separate. So to do this on mobile, go ahead and open up the Gmail calendar app. From there, you're gonna want to go up into the top left hand corner and select the three parallel lines. Next, scroll down to the bottom and select settings and then select general from the top. Once that's been loaded, you're gonna want to locate the show declined events and toggle the switch to the off position. Until Google figures out what's going on and is able to change the setting, these are a few different methods that are quick and simple but will help you prevent the spam from hitting your calendar. And with that, that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What other methods have you tried? Leave your answers in the comments comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of stuff tech related from unboxings and how to's. I'll give you a couple examples. Subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one. I just didn't, that didn't, that didn't, that didn't jive, that didn't flow. I need it to flow. I need it to flow.